walk through a deciduous woods in the Great Lakes region in early spring, you might come across patches of the large flowered trillium, sometimes known as the great white trillium, because it's big and showy. And in a healthy woods, it can literally carpet the forest floor. Trillium is known as a spring ephemeral. Ephemeral meaning not very long lasting. And in fact, the trillium are around in spring, but then they disappear. They get their name because of the trio of plant parts each plant possesses three leaves, three petals, and three sepals, these little green, almost leaf-like structures right underneath the petals. They burst forth into growth in early spring when the tree canopy above is barren, and that allows a lot of sunlight to come down to the forest floor, which stimulates the growth of the trillium. But if you walk the same woods later in spring, you might still see a few trillium that are white and some that are pink. Are they the same? Yes, they are. As the plant ages and the tree canopy begins to close up overhead as more and more leaves fill the trees, the petals start to die off and the plant produces anthocyanins, a reddish pigment, the same reddish pigment that deciduous trees produce in fall to give us red color. And again, it's triggered by a decrease in sunlight. These trillium, once they turn pink, means their life is pretty short-lived at this point, and they will eventually decompose down back into the soil, but the roots are still there, protected under the leaf litter, waiting for next early spring when the tree canopy above is open and sunlight streams to the floor, triggering new growth of the large flowered trillium. Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements if you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.